Elizabeth, if you give me another kiss. Mm -hmm. Sam, mm -hmm. your kids will be pounding at the door any minute, and besides, my mother is coming to take them to camp. Mm -hmm. Sam. Hello, Mommy. Hello, Daddy. Good morning, Mommy. You're supposed to knock. Go outside, girls, close the door, and knock. No. Sam, Sam. Come on, babies. Come on. Ah, all right, babies. Oh, you smell so good. Give me a big fat kiss. Sam, I'll put on the coffee. Jenna, you want to help me with the knives and forks and a raisin bread? Life can. I just returned your lawnmower. Thanks a lot. Oh, and your, your duck. Nothing got loose again. You know what happened? This duck got stuck in our breakfast nook with no one to talk to but my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly how it feels, baby. The same thing happened to me once. Hey, Sam, about your lawnmower. Very much appreciated if you get your cutter blade sharpened by next weekend. Okay, pal? Uh, you need a ride downtown? Uh, Min is going to take me down. Thanks, sir. All right, well, see you at the office later, pal. Don't go, guys. Well, she wasn't stopping to you. Yeah, no. Wait, listen. Honey, this is about the fifth time I've told you when you let Gretchen out in the morning to play with her, put her back in the pen. Now, I'll, vote again. I'll, I won't, it won't happen. Sweetie, I didn't have time to fix your oh, eggs. I will as soon as I get this stuff back. Uh, Denise, let your grandmother in, honey. That's a lot of stuff for those two kids to be taken to camp. I know. Hello, Hello. 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 Hi, Mother. Hi, Min. My goodness, they're taking all that to camp. Hello, Sam. Edna. Not dressed yet? Hi, Mother. Gee, it's sweet of you to take the kids to camp. I've got to go to the airport Hello, to Grandma. pick up this... Hello, <laughs> What were you saying? I've got to go to the airport to pick up this old school chum of mine, Janet Lagerloff. She's coming in from Europe this morning. Oh, how's Sam getting to work? Well, I'm going to take him to the office. He can ride home with Earl. Here's uh, some coffee. Uh, Come on, babies. Eat your cereal. Drink all your juice. You're not going to camp. Oh, Dad's made another one, huh? For the life of me, I can't understand why Sam builds these silly things. He enjoys it, Mother. That's reason enough. Sam's building a big mobile out in the patio. Where the neighbors can see it. Oh, for heaven's sake. You like it? Like it? What the hell is it? It's freeform sculptor like my others, only this is a... A masterpiece. See, when we have guests, they can sit in the living room and watch it move from there. See. Want me to turn it on for you? No, thank you. Isn't that Jenna's old bicycle frame in well, there? Yeah. And yeah. there's part of Min's sewing machine. Yeah, well, you see, uh, you're supposed to enjoy this as a total entity. You're not supposed to try and pick out individual parts. That's not the idea. I see. See, the idea of found object sculpture is to find beauty and enjoyment out of an arrangement of ordinary, everyday objects. Sam, dear, if fooling with junk makes you happy, then I say do it, no matter what anyone says. Thank you. Mother, you haven't fished your coffee? Oh, thank you, darling. We were just discussing Sam's junkyard. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Sam is so clever with his hands. I just love it. Sam, it's a real work of art. I don't know a thing about art. I just know what I don't like. Oh, she didn't mean it. Mother, why do you say those things? Will you help me get the kids ready? Who asked you? Sam! Honey, it's time to kiss them goodbye. They're ready. Jenna, that's not nice. 
There, honey, you look good. Give me a You look real good. Good girl, dear. Goodbye, darling. Goodbye, honey. Okay, in you get. Be good girls now. Be Do everything that the now. counselors tell you and have fun. Don't worry, darling. Watch the bank. Okay. Goodbye, Edna. Drive slowly, will you, please? I tell you, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned grandmother for the kids to remember. Oh, come on, dear. I gotta get dressed, you gotta get dressed. I'm late for work. I can't tell you how excited I am about seeing Janet again. It's been, oh, uh, I don't know how many years since I've seen her. Well, she has a marvelous accent, Sam. She was raised in Europe and came over here for college. That's how we met. Sam, would you mind if I brought her home for dinner tonight? Sam? Hmm? Sam, have you heard anything I've been saying? I realize that I've been in the same traffic jam, going to the same job every day for six years, and, and so have they. Every day, all our husbands, we get up, and we take the same road into the same job. We even dress alike. We put on the gray suit and the hat and that button-down shirt and the tie and the... It's like sheep. Sam, that's not true. You're not like anybody else. And you're not a sheep. You, you've got character. And I love you. I wonder what's holding them up. Bah. Sam, did you say something? Here we go. I'm off to the airport, honey. See you tonight. Yeah, good idea. Sam, are you depressed about something? No, I'm just uh, bored, I guess, going to work. You know, it's the same job and the same people, the same faces, and the same community pig pen for an office doing the same stupid layouts for the same stupid ads. And the... Sam, we do have two beautiful children, and we have to make a home for them. I know that. That's just one of those days, and don't worry about it, because I'm going to be all right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Is Earl going to drive you home? Yeah. Goodbye, dear. Morning, men. Hi, Earl. Hi. Hi, Sam. Have a good day, honey. Bye, dear. Help yourself. Obviously, we weren't watching the same show. Why? Come on now, let's not be foolish about it. Let's go. Seven years. Morning, boys. Morning, Mr. Burke. Morning, Sonny. Morning, Mr. Burke. Morning, my Earl. Morning, Mr. Burke. Morning, Earl. Morning, Mr. Burke. Morning, Phil. Morning, Mr. Burke. Morning. Name? Bissell, Art Department. Morning, Bissell. Good morning, Mr. Burke. Larry, I uh, now, Mr. Nerdlinger is coming in for a look-see at our billboard campaign for him, as you know. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Now, what we want to do is to edge him in with the billboard campaign, and then later, we'll slip him into some nice TV spots, like our Hertz Man in the Driver's Seat commercial. <laughs> All right, let's give him a good show today, shall we? We're ready for him, sir. <laughs> That's That's awesome. 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 No problem, Steve. Thank you, boys. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Gloria. Good morning, Mr. Bear. Good morning, girls. Good morning. 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 Good Close that big door over there, will you, please? Dave, you ready up there? Ready, Bob? Okay, roll it, please. Roll it, Jim. Here you go, 
Let's do. And action. Here we go. Two bars for nothing. One, two, one, two, three. Let Hertz put you in the driver's seat. Let Hertz take you anywhere at all. By the hour, by the day, by the week, or any way. Just let Hertz put you in the driver's seat. Let Hertz put you in the driver's seat. Hot. What are you doing up there, you bum? Listen, boss, this is the best I can do, and I can't do any better now. Put him in the driver's seat. first one I drop all year. Dave, I'm very sorry. Next time. Hey, Bobby! Get out there! Okay, how are those wires up there? I'm sorry I'm late, Mr. Furnier. Furnier. Furnier, I have kids. Hi, Sam. Hi. Just imagine, if you will, Mr. Nerdle here, those signs blown up on your billboards 20 times over, and look how effective they are with the lights on them. <laughs> Sonny, I'd like to congratulate you on the artwork. It was brilliant. It grabs me. Why, many judge? <laughs> Darn good commercial empathy there. Yeah. Thank you. I felt it was simple and punched across our points. For the masculine way of life, Nerdlinger eggs. You know, it has it. It's got just the right curve. We we imply it without actually hitting them over the head with it. Huh? You see, uh, Mr. Nerdlinger, what we're gearing up to here is to touch that psychological nerve in all men. The symbol of masculinity and fertility, the egg. You know, Harv, I like it. Well thought out. Hey, I don't know about you fellas, but after seeing this, I'm going to have eggs for lunch. <laughs> 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 He's going to have eggs for lunch. That's rich, Bill. That's rich. <laughs> well, sir, what do you think? Mm -hmm. You want to know what I think? Yes. <laughs> I think it's an abomination. Pure filth. I'm not a prudish man, sir. But I believe that the Almighty gave us good, clean, married, conjugal love for the purpose of raising families, not to sell eggs with dirty, salacious ads. Unchastity, fiendery, wenching, and fleshly lust. Is that the image that you have of my company? Certainly. Look at that bus line. line. Harlots and popinjays to sell eggs. I tell you what I think of you. I think you're all rotten to the core, and I think I've chosen the wrong advertising agency. Just a minute, Mr. Nerdlinger. We are all good, clean family men now, here. Now, don't try to fool me, sir. I'm an old man, but I'm nobody's fool, sir. Good, clean, living family men. Miss Halverson, I've run checks on you clean, living family men. There are dossiers on each of you. Mr. Blatchford, Mr. Reisner, Mr. Trilling, Mr. Burke, Mr. Foley, the Nerdlinger account executive. Little trips to Oakland twice a week, eh, Mr. Foley? Young secretary named... Oh, no, it's all it. here. All of you just as bad. Libertinism and liquor. Impurity and wantonness. Well, no, thank you, sir. We're good, clean family men at Nedlinger Farms, and I won't have our company represented by boards and lectures and libertines. Come along. Mr. Nerdlinger, we are quite flexible now that we have the true picture. That was just one of a dozen good ideas. We could animate some eggs, Mr. Mr. Nerdlinger. Well, please, please, sir, sir. give us another chance now that we've got the true picture. I don't want that dirty man on my advertising Mr. account. Oh, Mr. Nerdlinger, you can have anyone you want. We have a whole office full of good, upright, clean-living family men, sir. You wouldn't recognize a clean-living family man if you saw one. Well, very Mr. sensible. Yes. Give us another oh, crack at it. Mr. Uh, Nerdlinger. We are nothing if not facile here, Mr. Ner... Mr. Ner... Mr. Mr. Ner... Mr. Just one more chance. I am not going to take this lying down. There's a $600,000 account at stake. Now, please, come up with somebody. There must be someone. 
in this whole vast organization who can pass moral muster. A, a good husband, a good neighbor, a normal, everyday family man. And what is it, Bissell? Uh, Mr. Vernier, I've come to a decision. Vernier. Mr. Vernier, I've come to a decision. I will have been here six years as of next week. I've been pretty patient about waiting for a promotion. I just feel I'm not getting anywhere with my career. Take it up with personnel. Uh, well, I've made my mind up. I want to talk to Mr. Burke. You must be sick, Bissell. Nobody talks directly to Mr. Burke about a promotion. Hello. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Who? Mr. Bissell is here, sir. Send him right in, Gloria. What's his first name? Oh, Sam. Hello, Sam. Hi, Hi pal. Hi, hey, boy. How's the family, Sam? We're fine, sir. Sam, I've just been telling you all the horror of Mr. Burke all about you and men and the kids and the ducks and... Oh, and those crazy things, you know, you build. Junk sculpture. It's sort of a hobby of mine. Better than some of the hobbies I could mention around here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sam, won't you, won't you sit down? Sit down, Sam. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> now, let's talk a little cold turkey. Sam, what we have here at Burke and Hare is nothing, if not a completely democratic type of organization. We see, we like to help young people do bigger things. So, I said to the fellas, fellas, Let's look around for a young, energetic, clean living, family type, nice fella to head up the Nerdlinger Dairy Accounts. And Sam, I'll bet you a dollar to a donut, you can't guess who we came up with. Who? Mr. Nerdlinger, yeah. this is Sam Bissell. How do you do, How do, you do sir? I show Mr. Nerdlinger those snapshots of your children, Sam. Oh, yeah. That's uh, Denise, and there's Jenna. <laughs> Our duck. You keep ducks? Oh, yes, he loves animals. Dogs, cats, ducks, you name it. He, his whole life revolves around his family I, and that duck. Now, don't try and pull anything over on me, sir. I'll have him investigated, too. This is the genuine article, Mr. Nerdlinger. Good husband, good neighbor. A clean living family man, if you ever met one. Well, come along, Bissell. We'll give you the indoctrination to him. Go ahead, Sam. Takes about five minutes to milk the average cow. Milk flows through those stainless steel tubes into the holding tanks, then it's pasteurized and bottled, without human hands touching it. Now, that's the image we want to convey, a responsible firm dealing in a wholesome, superior product. I don't pretend to know anything about advertising, but what I can do is to give you a true picture of what our company stands for. We are plain, everyday people dealing in a plain, clean, everyday product. We deal in chickens, eggs, and milk. Simplicity, purity, truth. Perhaps, Mr. Bissell, just a plain white billboard. And across it, in plain gold letters, Nerdlinger's eggs have bigger yolks. Simplicity. And in the upper left-hand corner, a picture of me. Truth. What do you think of it? Oh, it's something to put in the forge and mong a little, I'd say. I like it. So do I. I do, too. All right, Mr. Bissell, what do you think of the idea? Frankly, sir, I don't like it at all. What, what are we uh, <clears throat> talking about here? We're talking about milk, correct? It, the simplest and most basic of foods. I think advertising should be just as simple and basic as the product that you're trying to sell. I think we ought to strip away the sham and pretension from advertising. It, who buys your products, your eggs and your milk and chickens, Mr. Nerdlinger? Why, uh, people. Exactly. People. Just human beings, ordinary, plain people. Well, I think we ought to uh, maybe have candid shots of people and real people, not actors or models, and put them up on the billboard. And the, the copy should simply read Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Godfrey Hotchkiss, or whatever their name might be say nerdlinger products are better and that's all period order up the billboards burke i buy it 100 <laughs> percent in the face of such honesty and truth i feel somewhat <laughs> diminished beautiful and true genius I, I, this may start a whole new trend in advertising you're my man <laughs> Royal Ambassador Service. Yeah! Oh my gosh, I can't find it!
are you? Oh, I'm you so happy to see you. You look wonderful. You're wonderful. Hey, is that real? Yes. Oh, where'd you get that suit? It's marvelous. I picked it up in Paris on the way over. In Paris? Have you been living in Paris? Yes, well, I'll tell you all about it. Let's get my luggage and I, and, and, and let's have a lunch. Oh, a marvelous lunch. No? That's a good idea. This is Paris. Voici mademoiselle à 53. Très fin, très rare. Je suis sûr que vous l'aimerez. Merci. Mm -hmm. C'est bon, hein? Très bon. Moi, je suis content. Gosh, I am so envious of you living all over the world. What a life you lead. You realize? You have no complaints. I adore my life. Do you remember when I always said in school there are some girls born to be single? Well, I'm one of them. I just love being free. Not that marriage isn't good for other girls. It obviously agrees with you, Min. You know, I expected you to look all uh, married and plump and I don't know. You're divine. I, I felt so bad when I heard about you and Howard getting a divorce. I don't know, somehow I expect you look different. <laughs> what? With dark circles under my tear-stained eyes? It's something like that, yeah. <laughs> I tell you something, Min. Every girl should be married to Howard Ebbets, at least once. It is like hitting your head against a wall. It feels so good when it stops. <laughs> Leaving him was the most wonderful thing ever happened to me. It absolutely restored my faith in divorce. But looking at you, all so happy and shining and... I don't know. Wait till you meet Sam, you'll understand. <laughs> Thanks, Earl. Yeah, yeah, I wish I could see Min's face when you tell her. <laughs> Thanks again. Hey, remember, think milk. Yeah. See you tomorrow. All right. Hey, honey, guess what? Where are you? Min? Today. It's amazing. I went into the office, you know, and I was going to ask for a. You must be Sam. I'm Min's friend, Janet. Janet Lagerlof. Uh, how do you do? How do you do? Lagerlof. And I mean, um, Lagerlof is only my, my maiden name. I, uh, still, my divorce is final. I am still Mrs. Howard Ebbets. Oh, uh, how do you do, Mrs. How do you Ebbets? do? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Well, look, uh, I don't want to disturb your shower. Uh, can I uh, get you anything? Soap? No, no, mm -hmm. thank you. I have everything. Washcloth. Well, you can make yourself at home. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I'm in. It's terrible. Oh, hi, honey. I didn't know you were home. I've been more embarrassed in my life. Just made a fool out of myself with your friend Janet in the shower there. In the shower? In the shower. What the heck is she doing here, anyway? Oh, now, Sam, I invited her. Now, now don't be like that. I want her to well, meet you. Just, She's my guest. Of... Oh, Jan, Jan. I guess there's really no point in introducing no. you two, but Jan, this is my husband, Sam. Sam, this is Janet. We met. <laughs> yes. I'm very sorry about but that. But don't be. I... I think it's divine. Tell me, does he come home every evening with roses? For me? Oh, no, yeah. Well, it's a uh, special occasion, Why? you see. I've been trying to tell somebody this ever since I got home. Dear, you're looking at the new account executive for the Nerdlinger Dairy account. <gasps> Me, Sam. Yeah. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, One, that's wait, not... I got some champagne to celebrate. But, but, I, I don't know what it is, an account executive? Oh, it's a very important job. He has charge of all the advertising for his oh. company. Hey, honey, oh, I... when did you find out? Well, I, I was going up to the office to ask for a raise, and before I could say anything, Mr. Burke just gave me the job. I guess, I don't know, Nerdling is a very strange old guy, and I guess he just kind of likes me. Oh, does can't... Earl know? Does he know? He's, he almost hit five phone poles on the way home. Ah. Sir. He wanted to see your eyes when I ah. told you, he said. Cheers. To Cheers. my wonderful friends, they love their home and your new job, sir. Congratulations, honey. Thanks, dear. Mmm, mm, good. Hey, I have a marvelous idea. Why don't we celebrate and go out to dinner tonight? Yes. Oh, fine, go ahead. You two get dressed and then I'll shave afterwards. Yes, okay. Mm. You can use the shower now, guys. Thanks, Mom. Min, 
I'll keep Sam company. Sam, Sam, where are you? Out here. Oh. Huh? Oh, you like it? Oh, it's marvelous. <laughs> eh? It's wonderful. It's so imaginative and that and that. Oh, Sam, Sam you know, it's almost like, like uh, Jean Tingli in Paris. Do you oh, know him? Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's, you're a genius. Oh, Absolutely I'm genius. Creative junkie is what I it's am. It's junkie. It's not junkie. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. You want to see how it works? Yes. Well, you wait a minute while I tighten this up. I'll give you a preview. Oh, <laughs> oh Sam, you and Minnie are so sweet. I'm so happy that we're going to be neighbors. Huh? What, well, neighbors? What do you mean neighbors? You don't know it? What? She didn't tell you? I oh. rented the house th uh, this afternoon. What, at the Goodson place? Yes. Well, I'm I mean. staying in San Francisco for a while, and I'm sick from hotels, and Min and I, we had two bottles of wine, and it seemed a good idea. Well, now I it's think even it's a better a, one. It's a great idea. We got two things to celebrate now. My, my, yes. my new account and our new neighbor. My new neighbors. Oh, thank you. Now, you ready? Yeah. Now cross your fingers. Jan, if you need any furniture, I got the whole amazing stuff uh, in the back Jan of Jan has loads of furniture from her grandfather. Yes, he died two weeks ago, Sam. And I'm the closest living relative. So I inherited a whole gloomy mansion full of uh, furniture and heaven knows what else. That's why I came to San Francisco to settle up his estate. Do you think he left you any money? No, I, I know it tomorrow. The lawyers are coming over to talk. Now listen, we are not here to talk about lawyers. Let's speak about our account executive. But we... <laughs> Hey, I'm having fun. Hey, uh, waiter. Yes, sir. Could we have one more bottle, please, please sir? Sam, Thank don't you. you think maybe we better have dinner? Yes. Yeah, one more round here. Okay. Cheers. 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 I told Mr. Nerdling, I said, Nerdly? Uh, no, I, I said, I'm a plain, simple, clean, loving family man, and I love my little old wife, and I love my little old kids, and I love my little old ducks, and I love my little old neighbors, and I love that little new name too. Bonjour! Bonsoir! Well, I told him, I just I said, Mr. Nerdlinger, the simplest, the most basic thing in the world is, uh, is uh, milk. You know, just good, clean, living, wholesome American milk. Sam, I'm just starving. Let's order dinner. Oh, no? what a wonderful thing it would be if the young people of today could benefit from my example, huh? Of clean living. I'm going to find young people and talk to them about clean living and how rewarding that can be, boy. Oh, Sam. It's the least I can do, dear. Jim, yeah, we got to get you out of here. Excuse me. I'd like to say a few words about clean living. <laughs> When I was your age, Excuse I had that special philosophy of... Well, come on, I want to speak. They're very nice people. Don't be afraid of me, just plain, clean living family. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of every last one of you. And I said that they were very nice. Sam, did you, give, did you give me the... I'll tell you one thing. I'm having a great deal of fun. And whoever said that clean and wholesome living couldn't be very... Are you sure I didn't give them to you? Would everybody here from Ohio please raise their hand? Where do we park? We don't park. No, we put, we came in here. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I'm terrible. Are you all right, Mendo? Be upset. I just fell on 
on a bed. <sighs> Just a plain, everyday, clean living family, man. Oh, my dear. Will you put this on, on the table? Thank you. Good morning, sir. Hi. <laughs> it was a wonderful evening. Yeah, you've been around. Hi, hey, sweetie. How do you feel? What happened? Well, a certain clean living family man rolled all the way down the main staircase in the Fairmount Hotel last night so? and caused quite a commotion. Oh, no. Yes, too. Janet? Oh, Hello, darling. Oh, Sam, please. Hello, Ben. How are you? Nice to see you. My associates, Hello. Mr. Hello. Wyatt, How are Mr. Hausner. How are you? My neighbors, Mr. Bissell, Mrs. Bissell, my Hello. grandfather's lawyer, Mr. Mayer. Nice Pardon to me. How do you do? Through, my, but this is a busy place. We came here to talk, Janet. It's a is mess. <laughs> Why don't we come over to my house, Jan? It's nice and quiet. I'll put on yes. some coffee. Oh, fine. Right, right here. Wait, where did I put this? The stock and bond portfolios and the Lagerhof Brewery in Seattle bring the total considerably higher. And with the Oakland Brewery and the corporate holdings in Fresno, the, uh, where is that packet, Ryan? All right here, sir. There you are. Thank you. The estate comes to something in the neighborhood of $15 million. What? $15 million? You're a millionaire! Are you, you're the only millionaire I've ever known. <laughs> I, I, I don't believe it. Are you Your sure? father lived so simply in that gloomy little house. Your grandfather was a very conservative gentleman who didn't believe in extravagance. As a matter of fact, you are the closest blood relative. There are, of course, your cousins, Irene Krupp and Jack Bailey, who incidentally have already been to see me inquiring about the will. But I don't think there's any problem there, provided you effect a reconciliation with Howard as soon as possible. Provided I what? There's a codicil in your grandfather's will which stipulates that in order to qualify for the inheritance, your marriage must be sound and effective. Therefore, it's simply a matter of locating your husband. My ex-husband. And effecting a reconciliation. Never. Not for any amount of money. As I remember, Janet, you were divorced six months ago. Under California law, it won't be final for another six months. I believe we can safely take the position that you are still married. What do you think, gentlemen? Well, legally... They're not living together. Not exactly a legitimate marriage this way. But I suppose one could say they were married. In effect. In effect. Let's file with the probate commissioner, then. According to law, Janet is still legally married. Unless someone points out that her husband doesn't actually happen to be living with her. But, sir, excuse me, if somebody does find out they aren't living together, they could contest the will. Who would do a thing like that? With $15 million at stake, my dear, Relatives come out of the woodwork, you'll find. Oh, you mean Irene and Jack? Exactly. But how could they possibly know Howard and I were divorced? Well, there are such things as private investigators, you know. Well, let's not anticipate trouble. If no one brings up the question of Howard, things should go smoothly. The money is legally yours, my dear, and I'm going to do my best to see that you get it. Nice to have met it's you, nice Mrs. Bissell. Goodbye, you, Mr. Bissell. Come, darling. Don't you worry one little bit now. Everything is going to work out all right. It's 15 million. 15 million? 15 million. Can't 
think about the money now. I have to get that house settled. Look at that mess. Well, that's what Jam's right. We gotta help this house get pulled together. I'm gonna run and get some coffee. You guys can start, okay? <laughs> Oh, this please in the bedroom. Thank you. Hello, dear. Hello, Janet. Oh, it's nice to see you again. Oh, cousin Irene. Cousin Jack, what a surprise. I hope we're not intruding. No, 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 not at all. You have all of Uncle Otto's furniture. Oh, I'm so glad you got it, dear. One of his favorite relatives. Ah, and his pet chair. I remember seeing him sitting in it just before he died. Now, now, my dear, don't upset yourself. May I sit down? Yes, of course. Uh, please, please. Sit down. I am sorry. I'm not sorry about this. Let's write to you over You know, I think I took the wrong turn off the bridge. Yes, it is difficult I, to find. And I went to left instead of the right. I hope we're not intruding. No, 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 no. Please be comfortable. Sit down, please. We just dropped by to pay our condolences. Oh, I am sad about Uncle Lotto. Yeah. Loved the old man just like he was my own father. Sweet, dear old gentleman. We hoped Howard was around. Never had the pleasure of meeting him, you know. Um, oh, yeah, Howard, yes, well, unfortunately. Hey, yes? Listen, where do you want me to put these towels? Oh, oh. oh, darling, come here, please, one moment. You've never met my cousins, have you? I uh, I mean, crap, Jack Bailey. My husband, Howard. These are the relatives we were speaking about, remember, darling? By golly, Howard, it's good to meet you after all these years. Well, Howard, dear. So you're the lucky man who got Janet. Please, sit down. Sit down. I'm sorry about all this mess, but you know, we just moved in this morning, didn't we, dear? We just moved in this morning, didn't we, dear? We understand. It'll be lovely. Someday. I guess there are people who like these modern, contemporary, and... Well, of course, we don't uh, really care where we are, just as long as we're together. Right, dear? Yes, right. <laughs> as long as we are together, nothing else matters. <laughs> oh, Min, Min, darling. Thank you very much. Oh, these are the relatives we were speaking about, remember? Uh, my darling next door neighbor, uh, Minerva Bissell, Jack, uh, Irene Krupp, Jack Bailey. Hi. How do you do? You know, uh, Howard and I, we were just saying, we'd be happy wherever we are, as long as we are together. Howard and you. Yes, isn't mm -hmm. that right, dear? Yes, indeed. Of course, we're very fortunate living next door to you and your wonderful, wonderful husband, Mrs. Bissell. Aren't you sweet? Oh, no, I'm very serious. Oh, he is just one of the fine men that always is. Just a, a prince of the earth, that man. Isn't that right, Mrs. Bissell? Would you like some coffee? Oh, no, no, thank you. Oh, oh that's sweet of you, dear, but we really must be going. We just dropped by to extend oh, our sympathies. I'm afraid you were a little early. Oh, oh no. I hope I can get the right turn this time, you know. Thank you. Where is Sam? I went through <laughs> war since in a sign of so war. Yes. You know, 25 years ago, there was anything like the population in this county that there is now. It must be very oh, inconvenient for you living way out here. Oh, are you sure nobody wants some coffee? No, thank you. Goodbye, Mrs. Bissell. So nice to have met you, dear. Oh, I just live over here. Goodbye. Say hi to Sam. <laughs> well, goodbye, dear. I'm glad to see goodbye. that you're so happy. Bye, Irene. See you soon. Howard, glad to have met you. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, Howard. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Nice to have... Uh... Goodbye. That was the craziest oh. thing I've ever been through. Sam, you were brilliant, just oh. brilliant. And no. by the way, thank you. Oh, that's all. Right. I think they know about that will. That's why they came here. Well, of course. I saw it immediately when they came in. Yeah. Uh. I think we fooled them, though. We were great. Of fact, I think we were both pretty good. We were great. Yes? Hi, it's me. Oh, Min. Hi. It's Min. Hey, you two are marvelous, but I think we're still in trouble. They're still out there, just sitting in the car. Oh. Sam, they look at they are still out there. Hey, you're right. I gotta get to work. What am I gonna do? What did he say? But, well, he has to get to work and he's, he's still in his pajamas. Well, he'll have to leave from your place. Come on over and I'll put his clothes in a bag or something. All right, good, good idea. Sam. Sam, Min has the best idea. Go in your house and I come back with your clothes. Don't worry. Bring my race. 
Suggested I drive you to work so it will look uh, legitim legitimate, you know? Yeah. Uh, what time do you have to be there? Holy smoke now. First day as an account executive, I'm late already. Don't panic, guys. I'll get you there. I drive the car. Oh, oh, the no socks. They forgot my socks. You forgot? Yeah, across the street. Keep your voice down. It's fine. Follow them. Why? I can give you 15 million reasons why. Now hurry up and follow them. Sam, please put that in the bag. Uh, uh, don't look around, but just glance into the rear vision. Is that the same car? They followed us. Good morning, good morning, morning sir. Morning. 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 You remember all morning. the boys, sir. Morning. Mr. Nerdlinger, this is Richard Tarrigan, Mr. Nerdlinger. He's the you? best photographer in the business. He's going to take some really fantastic pictures for your billboards. I don't want fantastic pictures. I want normal pictures of normal, everyday people, just like Whistle said. You better check with Whistle. He's got his finger on the pulse of this thing. Don't worry, Mr. Nerdlinger. Oh, there's our fair-haired boy now, Mr. Nerdlinger. Say, uh, they parked right behind us. Maybe we better uh, keep the uh, act going a little longer. <laughs> Bye, darling. <laughs> Is that a charming picture of domesticity? I'm sorry about all this, Sam. Well, it can't be helped. <laughs> Morning, Sam. Oh, Sam, would you come over here a moment, please? Mr. Nerdlinger wants us to meet Mrs. Bissell. Oh, yeah, Mrs. Bissell. What? Oh, uh, it's my boss and the client. How am I going to explain this? Well, it's perfectly simple. Just tell him the truth. Say I'm your next door neighbor. Well, hello. Yeah, well, hello. Uh, uh, good, uh, clean living, family type men don't go around making love to their next door neighbors on the street corners. <laughs> good morning, you beautiful, beautiful people. Good morning. I, I don't believe I've had the pleasure, my dear. Uh, uh, this, uh, uh, Mr. Burke, I'd like you to meet. Uh, Mrs. My... Bissell, I am charmed. Allow me to help you. Careful with your skirt. You know, your Sam is a big favorite with us around here. Oh, I want you to come and meet Mr. Nerdy. I'd love He's to. our toughest client. Sam's the only one who can handle it. Oh, him. really? <laughs> Let's try and shave a little closer, Sam. Want to look neat, you know. Mrs. Bissell, may I present Mr. Nerdy? Oh, good morning, Mr. Nerdy. Good morning, madam. I'm delighted to meet you. Morning, Sam. Oh, morning, sir. Sonny, fellas. Morning, Sam. Morning, Sam. I wonder if you'd give us the pleasure of having dinner with Mrs. Nedlinger and me tonight. I know she'd like to meet you both. Oh, well, I'll, I'll have to call my wife at home to see if she's made any other plans. Call home? What are you talking about? Oh, we'd love to go to your house for having dinner, wouldn't we, Sam? Oh, boy. About uh, 8 o'clock, then. Oh, and Sam, we always dress for dinner. Black tie. Delighted to have met you. Such a great pleasure to know you. Oh, the pleasure was mine. Goodbye. 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 Now remember, normal pictures. Right. Everyday people. Good. Goodbye, Mr. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. This thing is getting a little out of hand. Don't you think? Goodbye, it... my darling. Huh? Goodbye, 
gentlemen. Pleasure meeting you. Bye. Bye. Bye, darling. Lucky boy, Sam. Morning, Mr. Bear. Hi, Ballard. Would you mind telling me da, 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 that she was? Da, 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 da. artistic I'll do the same kind of thing I did Excellent. before. Contrast. Well, I thought so. Oh, I all photographer. Why don't you just leave that to me, I sir? Well, don't worry. What do you think about black and white or color? I'd say black. What do we really need here? Oh, what was that chick you were kissing out there? I thought so. 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 What we need is a normal... Morning, Mr. Berg. Morning, Mr. Berg. Look, Sam, you can tell me with your eyes. Later. What do you mean, later? Sam, what is very simple... Morning, Mr. Morning. Morning, Mr. Morning. Morning, Mr. Morning. Morning, Mr. Morning. It's very simple to explain, but not here, please. Well, do... What is all the secret I got myself in a bit of a jam. Yeah, I so. bet you did. Look, it's Min's best friend. Min's best friend? Yes. Hey, tell us where you got a coffee back there. Quiet down. Will you roll it, Jim? Thank right. you. Here we go. All right, we'll take it from the pickups of bar nine this time. Got it? Here we go. One, two. A one, two. By the hour, <laughs> by the day, by the week, by any way, just that hurts. Put you in the driver's seat. Let Hertz put you in the driver's seat. No, no, no! no. Cut it, will you? Cut it! You're oh, not getting the wait, idea wait, at all. Wait, wait. In the driver's seat, you idiot! Have to rehearse this. He's been doing that all of. Look, will you start from the beginning? Yeah, right. It's Min's best friend, and yeah, he knows her. all about Sam, it. Sam, boy, what are you doing in here? Come on, have we got something to show you? The fellas and me, come along, Sam. Come on, come on out here, Sam, girls, girls. Now, Sam, don't let this go to your head. But this is just our way of saying thank you for delivering to us Mr. Nerlinger. Oh. There you are, Sam. Lots of luck, Sam. Take it away, Sam, baby. Oh, it's all yours. Good luck, Sam. Thank you. Go on in. It's your office. Come on, come on, sit down, sit down. It's all yours. Thank you. <laughs> Here you are, Sam. Executive cigar? Oh, <laughs> sure, though. Oh, right. Go ahead, put your feet up on the desk there, Sam. Just like you on the place. Go ahead, get him up there, boy. Yeah. Where are your socks, Sam? <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. Oh, that's all right. I, you don't have to explain to me. I understand. I know how tough it is to make ends meet when you've got a growing family. But we're going to take care of that, too. There's a very nice raise going into effect for you starting today. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right, boys, let's get back to work, shall we? Lots of luck, lots of luck. Lots of luck. Lots of luck. Lots of luck. Let's crank up on that Nerlinger account, huh? Crank. And thank you again. Uh, congratulations, Mr. Bissell, on the new job. Oh, thank you, Marcia. Uh, they assigned me to you. Oh, that's nice. Can I do anything? Uh, yeah, you could uh, get Mrs. Bissell for me on the phone, if you would, please. Thank you. is on one, sir. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Bye, honey. I'm uh, sorry, Mr. Burke. No, you're on the dictograph. She's on the telephone. Line one. Thank you. Hello? Hi, honey. Who was who? Oh, that was my secretary. Yeah, my new secretary. I got a secretary now. I got a, a new office. I got a raise. You should see this office. I got everything. You got windows? Everything. What? Can I celebrate tonight? Yeah, uh, well, I, that, I, I wanted to tell you a very, very peculiar thing happened. Honey, <laughs> it, it, uh, I'm sure you'll understand. You'll laugh when I tell you what it is. 
I don't know why you didn't just tell him the simple truth. Well, dear, wait. I, 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 I told you before. It's just that you don't know Nerdlinger, and he's a strange fellow. He's kind of a nut about fidelity and marriage. I got it. This is the part I can do. And he isn't ever going to understand that beautiful friend of yours kissing me like that. That's I, There's Janet. Now, look, dear, we just got to try and be reasonable. Well, I right? am trying to be reasonable, but it's often difficult to understand how you let yourself get into this absurd position. Look, honey, will, will you... I know. I'm trying to be reasonable. I'm not succeeding, but I'm trying. All right. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry about all this. I wouldn't do anything to upset you or Sam for a million dollars. On the other hand, for 15 million... Oh, Min, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Really, I didn't. I'm fine, just fine. Uh, you better hurry. You're gonna be late. Yeah, okay. Bye. Dear. Let's go. I'll drive. Okay. We'll hurry, darling. I'm sorry. We'll get out of this just as fast as possible, huh? You both look real nice. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Have a good time. My woman's club is starting a purge on the evil, obscene publications which litter our libraries and our newsstands. I'd love to have Mrs. Bissell join us next Thursday for our weekly book burning, if she's free. Oh, gee, oh, I'm sure she'd just love it, uh, Mrs. Nerlinger, but uh, Thursday, I think, is her uh, church bingo committee. I don't believe in gambling. Uh, they play for jelly beans. Oh, well, that's different. <laughs> you know, a man needs a foundation on which to build an immaculate life. Mrs. Nerlinger and I, we detest the philanderer and the infidelity which some men live by. Oh, yes, so do Sam and I. You wouldn't believe some of the degenerate pursuits of some of the people in our society. But God will deal with the whoremonger and the profligate. Their days are numbered. Isaiah, verse 6. Amen. I have my key, Sam. Thank you. Oh. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night, Jan. See a truck, isn't that nice? See, there it is. Oh, I told you. That's right, it's a truck. Probably a guy sitting there parked with his girl. Not on a residential street. Can you read what it says on the truck? Yes, it's a Brookfield <clears throat> vacuum cleaner company. Brookfield, Brookfield, Brookfield. There is no Brookfield vacuum cleaner company. I knew it. It's a private investigator, I am sure. You remember? My lawyers warned us. Gee, this is kind of spooky, isn't it? Well, I wonder what a private investigator thinks he's going to see from out there. Well, that's very simple. For one thing, he wants to see my husband to come tomorrow morning out of my door. But, oh, no, not again. Now, wait this minute, Sam. We've gone this far. We can't quit now. Well, look, it's getting light outside. And, and, and if there's anybody out in that truck, he's going to see me when I try to cross over. I'm afraid he's right. No. Wait a minute. Of course. There's a very simple way to get Sam across to your house without being seen. 
Well, what are you going to do, shoot me out of a cannon, dear? Oh, don't be silly, dear. We don't even have a cannon. I have a much better idea. Absolutely refuse to do this. <laughs> Darn, honey, don't, go for this don't drop me. Question the most ridiculous thing that I've ever heard of! Yeah, Mrs. Abyssal. I forgot my socks again. We are being worse. Can't you feel it? How's it going, Carrigan? Oh, getting some sensational yeah. shots, Mr. Burke. Real weirdos. No, no, wait. Nerdlinger does not want weirdos. Normal, everyday people, Carrigan. Oh, I got you. Oh, here's a normal, everyday couple. No, no, Carrigan, Carrigan. They're too normal. They... Clean-cut types are what we want. Average, clean-cut Americans, Carrigan. There. There you are. Now, there's a healthy, clean-cut, attractive man and wife. But that's Mr. Bissell. That wouldn't be fair. So he works for us. What difference does it make? There is your average, plain, everyday husband and wife. Now, stop talking and take your pictures. I'll see you later. Listen, Min and you, you've been so absolutely wonderful to me that, well, there's something I'd like to well, do. Well, what's that? As soon as I get my inheritance, I'm going to give you a million dollars. You're gonna what? I'm going to give you a million dollars. Uh, well, listen, you... if it hadn't been for you and Min, I would have never got the 15 million. You know that's true. Uh -huh. well, 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 I don't well, want it's... any discussions and no arguments. Anyway, the whole thing is settled. Huh? I'm going to Melna's office right now and make the arrangements. Yeah, well, well I don't know what to say. <laughs> don't I... say anything, then. If we just get through the next few days, we'll all be millionaires. Uh-huh. See you tonight. Oh, I don't like that. Well, this one has a lot of decency. Oh, that's terrible. Art, 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 Here's the norm, Art. Terrible. Here's the norm. Terrible, terrible. They are all terrible. Not one of them typifies the clean-cut spirit of this campaign. Am I right, Sam? S Sam? Sam? Mm -hmm. <clears> hey, <throat> sir. Would you please explain to these dunderheads, for the 10,000th time, the kind of people we want to see up here on this billboard? Plain, simple, clean-cut, ordinary, everyday millionaires. What? People. Average, nice-looking people. There you are, fellas. Thanks, Sam. Yeah. Well, that's right. Oh, 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 that's right
Mrs. Everts isn't home. Oh, uh, <laughs> hello. Can I help you? Uh, well, uh, maybe. Uh, who are you? It's none of your business, but I'm a next-door neighbor. Oh, well, how do you do? Uh, I wonder if you could tell me when she'll be back. Well, I don't know. She went in the city to pick up her husband. Her husband? Yeah, her husband. He lives here with her, like any normal married couple. Uh, look, lady, I don't know who this joker is, but he's not her husband. Well, he is so, too, and you better stop fooling around their house or I am going to call the police. To take it easy, lady. Take it easy. I'm leaving. Uh, I wonder if you'd uh, give the happy couple a message for me. Uh, would you tell them I'll be back tonight and fix both their wagons? I'm so glad you called. I have so much to tell you. You are kidding. Break into Janet's house? Well, what do he look like? What is it? The, she saw that private investigator trying to break in your house here, huh? He says, I'm not married to you. We'll be back tonight to fix our wagons. Oh, Sam, I'm scared. Yeah, look, uh, uh, Janet's scared, dear. I better, uh, I'll be over as soon as it gets dark, huh? I'll sneak over then. I gotta, I gotta hang up. My wife is waiting. Your what? Ostensibly, dear. Ostensibly. I'll be over as soon as it's dark. Sam, I'm really frightened. What do we do if he shows up? Don't worry, I'm here and I'll protect you. Well, you said you go home when it gets well, dark. Well, just to say hello, I'll be back. Sam, I, I really hate to impose on you, but uh, could you please stay tonight with me here? Yeah, I guess I'd better. <laughs> Thank you, you're a darling. Now, let's see. It won't be dark for a couple of hours. What, what, what do we do? We have to kill some time. What mm. do you usually do when you come home from work? Well, men usually makes me a martini. All right, I make you a martini. Get comfortable. <laughs> Mm, I'm full, really. It was good Sam, Thank Min, you. what's the time? Oh, nine o'clock. Be careful. Thanks for dinner. I'll see you in a little while. See you later. I'm sorry I'm late. Well, uh, I had to wait till it was dark, dear. It was pitch black at 818. What have you been doing all this time anyway? Well, just uh, trying to kill time. It's, it's not easy, you know. I, Jan and I don't have much in common. <laughs> I heard music. Finally, out of sheer boredom, she put on some records. That's all. Then went in and cooked dinner. Dinner? Yeah. Oh, Sam, don't tell me you've eaten after I fixed the casserole. 
she's eating. She was cooking just for her. I'm starving to test, oh. dear. Okay, honey. Sit down. Yeah. Here are the rolls. A little burned, didn't they? They've been sitting in the oven for an hour. Your favorite dish, macaroni casserole. Thick, heavy layer of mozzarella cheese. Just the way you like it. Boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Take it. Hmm. What? For the million dollars that Janet wants to give us. I mean, wouldn't you feel funny? Well, it's just a million, it's a million, but she's got 15 million, so what's one? Yeah, but I mean, here we are sitting in the kitchen eating, and then all of a sudden, huh, we got a million dollars. Yeah, I know, but she insists, and the lawyer said it's rightfully hers, and all we're trying to do is help her out, and they're making a lot of trouble, and, uh, and no, I'm not her husband, really. No, but you're not. It's a technicality, and think of all of the things you always wanted, you know, mink coat. Yeah. Well, it's just too fantastic. I can't think about it. Here. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Thank you. Excuse me, dear. Hello? Hi, Jan. Yeah. Okay, I'll send him right over. Bye. It's Janet. She's getting scared again. Here's your toothbrush, honey, and your razor, and your socks, and your clean shirt. Now, listen, honey, if that man shows up tonight, be careful. Don't fight. No, don't worry. I'm not afraid of him. Well, I know, but just be careful. Yeah. Good night, love. How oh, isn't this awful? Huh? Here I am kissing you goodnight, and you're going across to spend the night with another woman. Oh. Very attractive woman. Be careful. I told you, I'm not afraid of him. I don't mean him, I mean her. Oh, dear. She's your best friend. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. My dear, I love you. I love you. Remember to sleep on your left side so you don't snore. I That's what I'm here for. All right. Uh, here's a pair of my husband's pajamas and, and the towels. The bathroom is there. If you need anything else, just help yourself. Oh, and thank you. I do appreciate that. You're the sweetest man I've ever known. <laughs> Good night. Sleep Good night. well. Thank you. Now, no wonder that marriage broke then.
was all men's fault. Be careful, she says. Well, it's a direct insult. Be careful. <laughs> Everybody knows the kind of man I am, for heaven's sake. I'm a family man, I'm decent. I wonder why she left her door open. Understand these things, Sam. Lie back and live clean. sleep, can you, my dear? No. I don't know what it is, Sam. You don't? No. I do. Oh? And so do you. No, Sam, I don't know. I... Yes. Oh, oh, no, 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 Not true. I'm a plain, ordinary, everyday, clean living family man. I... Oh, no. oh no. She's lying in there thinking that I'm gonna come barge a little on her. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I better just slip in there and tell her that she's got nothing to worry about. I never do a thing like that. She's perfectly all right. I... Jan? 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 <laughs> Listen, I just want you to know I would never crash in here in the middle of the night and take advantage of this situation for the world. But I saw... I mean, even if I wanted to. Which I don't. No, you don't. But, Sam, I mean, I actually, it, 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 it's just something the men dreamed up. I. But, but I, I, I explained to men that you behaved like a perfect gentleman. Everything. Oh, thank you. Is all... Thank you. <coughs> That's him. Shh, shh. Sam. Sam. Shh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Are you all right? Yes. Are you all right? Tell me, did you hurt yourself? No. Oh, I'm, who in the living hell is he? I'm sorry. I'm trying to help Janet. Help her. Yes, oh, he helped me. I'll bet he's been helping you. You look like you've been helping her. Uh, you, in, you in pajamas and, and you in a nightgown. What do you mean? Uh, what an absolutely despicable remark. How dare you apologize this instant? Apologize? Yes. I, I come here in the middle of the night and find, find some ape in fluorescent pajamas with my wife in a nightgown? Well, of course I'm in a nightgown. What else would I be wearing in the middle of the night? An overcoat? Well, maybe you ought to be. All alone with, it, with this idiot in his moronic trick-or-treat pajamas. It is entirely your fault that he had to be here at My all. fault? Yes. I just gave him one of your old pajamas, which you never wore. What? Those are my pajamas? Yes. What, those, those are the pajamas you bought me the weekend we drove to Carmel. And now you give them to this gigolo? Oh, don't get all sentimental over a pair of pajamas. Anyway, what are you doing here? I came here today to talk to you. Why didn't you? You weren't here. Why didn't you wait? Because that hysterical snoop next door caught me and was going to call the police. Don't call my wife a snoop. Your wife? Yes, his wife. And she also is my best friend. And she kindly loaned me the use of her husband to make it look like I'm happily married, which I never was with the likes of you. Yeah, but no, no, just a yes, moment. Listen, wait, 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 to Janet, but only so that she would qualify to get her inheritance under her grandfather's yeah. will. You see, the cut, fifteen million dollars. She gets. Fifteen million dollars. Yes, and don't pretend you didn't know. Well, no, I. Oh, I did. It dawns on me why you suddenly showed up out of nowhere. Oh, you money-grabbing, dreadful man! Uh, no, no, listen, Janet. No, Janet. I... Janet, you are wrong. Oh, of course I'm wrong, yes. Janet, I swear I didn't know a oh, thing about on. this inheritance until this very minute. Ah. It's not money I came after, it's you. Oh, get out of here right now! Oh, listen, if you think I'm leaving in the middle of the night while my wife is in a nightgown and this guy is in my pajamas, you are crazy. If you get in that pajamas routine once more, I'll scream! And I am not your wife! Now get out! Oh, are you kidding? I'm not leaving. All right. Sam, mm -hmm. please throw him out. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, pajamas. Throw me out now that you can't jump me from behind. Come on. Come on. Why don't you settle your own domestic quarrels? It's none of my business. I'm going back to my own bed and my own house. Oh, no, 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 you can't do that to me, no. You know that the detective is watching this morning and, 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 and what would he think? He saw you this evening come in my house and then tomorrow morning is you're leaving from your house. No, please, it's just only that one more time. And it's only one hour to daylight. Please, Sam, please, please stay on, do it for me. Hey, pajamas. Oh. You awake? Oh. Old Jan was really mad out there in the kitchen, wasn't she? Oh. All that yelling and screaming. Sure gave me a nostalgic feeling. Oh, almost like we were still married. You know, some of the happiest days of my life were spent fighting with that little girl. Please, if you insist on clumping down memory lane, would you do it, please, more quietly? Uh, when I say fights, I don't just mean arguments. I mean, knock down, drag out fights. Mm. Oh, she's got a left hook, it's beautiful. I got a spot right here on my arm. She used to nail me three out of five times. <laughs> you threw, uh, look, <clears throat> I don't know about you, but I have to get up in the morning and go to work. Yeah, yeah, I know, so do I. Oh, good, good. Well, then why don't you just get out of here now while it's still dark, huh? Where am I supposed to go? Well, what you do is you sneak across to my patio, see? You go to sleep in a nice, damp chair that I've got over there, and you wait until morning. I'm going to call up my wife. I'm going to explain this whole ridiculous thing to her. She'll let you in the back door, and then you go out the front door, you see, and the fella in the truck out there will think that you live there, and you were off on a business trip for a couple of days a month. That's the best you can suggest. Now that I wait outside on... Well, I wouldn't suggest you wait inside. A perfect stranger or my wife, thank you. Forget it. All right, good. You're going to explain it to the fellow in the truck when we both leave the same house tomorrow morning. It goes 15 million dollars down the drain. Explain it. Well, I guess you're right. You know, it's going to be cold out there on that patio. Why don't you take a blanket? Uh, 
Well, thanks a lot. I'm Howard Abbott, uh, huh? Janet's husband. I, you see, I've been out you, here. You're all, Janet? I, I, yeah. Oh, I'm I, sorry. I, I thought I'd come in and get some coffee. I thought you were Howard is expecting you to drive him to work. He is? Yes. Hmm. Now, please eat your toast. You'll be late. No, I'm not hungry. Will you stop staring out of that window? Min is all right. Of course she's all right. I was yes. staring. I was just glancing. Oh, around. glancing. He's a pretty good-looking fellow, isn't he? Yes, he's a good-looking uh, fellow. Yeah. Well, it's all surface. Surface, yes. Yeah, and it's surface handsomeness. Yes. Well, I certainly don't think there's much depth to the man. No depth, no. Well, he certainly isn't uh, 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 men's type. No, never. he will be never men's type. <laughs> You're funny. He talks like a parrot. I'm not hungry. Well. Come on, Sam. Bye-bye. Bye. See you later, honey. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Listen, buddy, I'll have to ride home with you, so why don't you pick me up at Montgomery Post at 5 o'clock, huh? Yeah, please. Please. Would you mind not slamming the door quite so hard? Oh, now, don't tell me how to slam the door on my own car. Your car? Yeah, I haven't been paid for it, and I'll slam the door any time I like. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, it, uh, just, just uh, is that my shirt you've got on there? Uh... Yeah, that's your shirt. And your short. And your skivvy shirt. And those beautiful Lyle socks your mother brought you from France. Well, Min has lost her mind. Well, dear, did you have to give him my underwear, one of my good shirts, and my best socks? Well, what else could I do? The poor man was all grubby from waiting outside in the patio, and his spirits were so low. Well, you know what a lift it is to put on clean clothes after a shower. He took a shower? Well, of course. Didn't you take a shower at Janet's? Uh, no, I didn't take a shower at Janet's. What do you think I am, some kind of a sex maniac? Oh, Sam, you're making noises like a jealous husband. He happens to be a very nice man. He's kind and generous and uh, very handsome. Ha handsome? He's very handsome. He's got no more character on his face than an ordinary egg. Just an ordinary, and uh, certainly not a nerdlinger egg. Oh, Sam, you are jealous. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think it's... Mix up. Oh, Just a minute. So, I'm what? Sorry. There's a big confusion down there. What they, is... they think that girl is Min. What girl? What the is... girl I saw you hugging and kissing on the... Shh. 
The girl on the street, you are hugging, kissing, her. Burke yes. thinks she's your wife. Will you please be quiet? It's all part of a plan. And don't you try to figure it out. I'll tell you about it someday. Goodbye. You're not worried about the nerdling on Bill Burke? Earl, please, just don't bother me now. Please, believe me, I know what I'm doing. Goodbye. Okay. I get it, but okay. That's the way you want it, okay? Yeah. And close the, uh, thing. Okay. I'm sorry. I was just speaking to the ramhead there, Earl. Uh, is the truck still there? And, uh, oh, I don't like it any more than you do, honey. I, one more night, the whole mix-up ought to be settled. I love you, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good. I feel somebody watching us. Certainly. Okay. Well, it's sure good to be home. Yeah. I wonder what little Mimsy's got for dinner tonight. Sam! <clears throat> well, forget you're not Mr. Suburbanite coming home to your wife. You're coming home to my wife. Let's yeah, not and the same goes for you, pal, and don't you forget it. Don't stand there in my underwear and threaten me. <laughs> well, I'll, uh, I'll see you later, pal. Uh, thanks for the ride home. Forget it. Three years of law school, the, the dean didn't even know yeah, about it. Oh, goodness, no, <laughs> Don't ask me. So Eli Whitney turns to him and he says, you keep your cotton picking hands off of my jeans. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful story? Honestly, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. And you put it so brilliantly. Well, thank you. Have you ever thought of being a writer? Writer? Me? No. A writer. How we a writer? He never had an original thought in his life. Yeah, I can believe that. You know what kills me? That toupee that he's wearing. That is a toupee, isn't it? No, it's his own hair. Oh, well, then he must go to a hairstylist or something. He wouldn't go to a regular barber. Anybody with a head of hair like that's got to go to a hairstylist. He's just vain, huh? You have to fight him to get to a mirror. Listen, they're playing a tango. Shall we? I'd need a light. Uh, I've been meaning to ask you about that hunk of junk. Uh, what is it, something you forgot to throw away? Oh, no, that's Sam's creation. He loves to dabble in art. Art? Uh-huh. Oh, that's the biggest, craziest dabble I've ever seen. What do you do, turn it on here? Yeah, I like that. He's sensitive, isn't he? Very. He's creative. Uh, oh, that's ridiculous. What am I worried about? A madman like that. <laughs> I know the story. It's typical. It's typical. He just took advantage of you, you know, the smooth dancer and the fancy dresser, and you were young and naive, and you thought he was a swell fella because he never made a pass at you, and then you marry him and you find out why. Mama's boy, pretty mama's boy. It all wind up with no pitches, we say. That's a sad facet of American life. Oh, no, he wasn't a mama's boy. It was quite the contrary. Did you have any mambo records? And cha-cha. Oh, cha-cha, too. Yes. Hey, that's the great. Conga. I... Yeah, that's wonderful. Remember the conga? And would you believe it, two years ago, Sam and I went a chopstick pond to set the... Oh, excuse me. Hello? Yeah, Min, are you all right? Oh, hi, dear. Well, of course I'm all right. What do you mean? I miss you, dear. What are you doing? Oh, Howie and I are going to play cards. He's really a lot of fun, Sam. Yeah, I, yeah, I'll bet. What kind of cards? Honeymoon bridge. That's a great game, Min. Much better four-handed. What do you say all four of us play right now, huh? Uh, well, I don't know. I'll have to see how Howie feels. He's had a rough day at the office. Just a minute. Hold on. You know how we feel. You had a rough day at the office. Oh. Yeah, all right. Uh, if he doesn't stay too late. I got a tough day tomorrow. Okay. Sam? Sam, honey, he says it's okay. You can come on over, just so it isn't too late. Oh, well, now, gee whiz, I wouldn't want to tire out Howie. You sure it's all right? Oh, no, it's all right. You can come on over for a while. Gosh, right. Bye, men. Bye. 
got to be sick. Uh, say, uh, listen, Mimsy, you know, honey, we never would have made this hand if, if he hadn't made the wrong discard. Yes, you said that before, didn't you? Well, that does it, Howie. There was one dollar and 42 cents. All right, now that that's all settled, what do you say we have a nightcap? Uh, uh, Sam, what can I get you? Oh, I'll get it. Uh, no, no, I'm just trying to be the gracious host. I uh, see. Well, I think I can get my own drink in my own house. Let's not squabble. I'll get the drinks. Jan? I don't care for anything. Thank you. Howie, soda. Uh, Scott and soda, right? Yeah, no, water. Oh, sorry. I'll help you, honey. Okay. Sam, you want to get another tray of cubes? Mm -hmm. Ice? Please? If anything happens to that marriage, I'll hold you personally responsible, Howard Ebbets. Me? Yes, you. Oh, now, look, you're the one who started this whole nutty thing. You are the one who came in bursting in the night, in the middle of the night. Oh, boy, I always knew how selfish and totally self-centered you were. But I never thought you'd stoop to endangering a beautiful marriage like the Bissells, out of pure greed. Greed? Yeah. How dare you talk to me that way? How dare you? How dare you? You said, how dare you? Now you're beginning to act like my old gal again. Come on, honey, let's go a couple of rounds, sweetheart. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't treat me like that. Has he made a pass at you yet? Oh. Well, has he or hasn't he? Well, look, don't just give me a look. It's not such a ridiculous question. For your information, he is known to be highly oversexed. No? Well, I don't say he takes ads, no, but his own wife told me, and it made her sick when she did. He's disgusted. Can you imagine what it must be like to be married to a man like that? She's sexually normal. Oh? You told me that, uh, right? I think it was right after we were married, when you were just... Uh, <laughs> well, what are you laughing at? <laughs> you are so cute. Oh, I miss you. I miss you, too. When is this all gonna be over, huh? I don't know, pretty soon. Keep on thinking about the million dollars. Mm -hmm. oh, trip around the world, leisure time, security for the kids. No more Mernier, Burke and Herring. And... You know what I miss the most? What? My feet get so cold. Hey, uh, Bissell, if you're looking for the scotch, it's in the cupboard. Yes, we found it, finally. Thank you. Um, uh, Howie, old boy, could I speak to you for just a second, please? Sure. Yeah. Um, Howard. Howie, I'd like to spend tonight in my own house with my own wife. Hey, uh, hey, no, now, now you're talking. Now, that's a great idea. Uh, I'd like to spend some time alone with Janet, too, you know. Yes. Now, we got a lot to fight over. Good, you got a deal. Okay. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What about the guy in the truck? Yeah, there's a full moon out. I, I have a plan. Yeah, what's that? I will go home with Janet and go straight out on the patio. I will light a cigarette so that you'll know I'm there. Now, you do exactly the same thing, and then I will know you're there. I'll light a cigarette. When the girls go to bed yeah. and the last light goes out, I'll give you a signal. I'll whistle. And that is our cue to run back and forth. See you? Um, so you're a genius. Oh, one thing I think we should remember is when you run, crouch very low, you see, and that way if he sees us, he won't see us. No, no, or just wait, wait, wait a minute. Let's just drop the advice, huh? I happen to have been a Marine Raider. I can take care of myself. Oh, no. Well, I was in the OSS. I think I know a little bit more about... No, wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Marine Big Shot. Let me, wait a minute. Let me tell you about the Marines, uh, huh? Look, we were I the first to be Okinawa. recruited. I don't we were the first... In... Let's not quibble. We're going to spend the night with our wives. Yeah. You know, you're not such a bad guy after all, Sam. Yeah, neither are you, Howie. What's so funny? What are you two guys grinning about? Oh, nothing. 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 Well, here's the two ex-servicemen and a successful mission tonight. Huh? Dark of the moon. Dark of the moon. <laughs>
Lasso, your ducks are loose. Sleep after a racket like that? Where are my glasses? What's going on over there, Sam? Who's that? What, oh, Al, I, uh, Al, nothing. It's, I'm sorry. It's... Hi, but the Al. detective didn't miss any of oh, the detective. You better oh. come back, Sam. Come on. Well, that wrecks it. That's. Well, anyway, we tried, honey. Good night, dear. Good night, Sam. Good night, Mrs. Abbotts. Good night, Mr. Bissell. Good night, Mr. and Mrs. Abbotts. OSS. Go home. Go to delay for another week your decision as who is entitled to inherit. Why? My clients have had these people under scrutiny for the past few days by a private investigator. Yes, we saw him out there with his vacuum cleaner truck. He didn't fool us a minute. Some very odd things have been happening at that house. Unless it pertains to the plaintiff's qualifications for inheritance, I'm not interested, sir. There's something very sneaky going on in that house, Your Honor. All we're asking for is another week's stay, Your Honor. Denied. But, Your Honor... All we want is justice. I said denied. You can't alter a man's deathbed bequest with a lot of childish spying and gossip. Now, obviously, this woman and man are husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Howard Ebbets. And as such, I set the hearing for distribution of the Logalock will to take place in probate court tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. Now, nice to have met you, Mr. and Mrs. Ebbets. I don't oh, think see you here. Look, I've had some experience in this sort of thing. We want justice. We want to take our hands off. I don't care what you say. We made it. I want to go out and buy everything. Well, you can. Fifteen million dollars. And you I'm can. going to give you and Min one million. Oh, boy. Like promised. We're millionaires. Yes. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, Sam, have you seen Burke yet? No, I just got in. I had business on the outside. Yeah, well, congratulations, Golden Boy. What do you mean, Golden Boy? Well, your old nerdlinger is ecstatic about his billboards. What billboards? What billboards? Are you of this world? Oh, oh, oh those billboards. Yeah, those yeah. billboards. You create more bedlam around here with all of your nonsense. Yeah, well, like, I'll tell you, Earl, I've had a few personal problems lately, and I just completely forgot about the nerdlinger billboards. Yeah, well, anyway, Burke and nerdlinger are patting each other on the back. They just love them. Oh, that's nice. It is, huh? Have you seen those billboards? What billboard? Oh, no, I haven't been near the media department lately. I would strongly recommend you take a good look at those billboards. Mm, they're finished. Finished? They? They're up. They're all over town. Oh, good. It's Sam. Sam, yes. good friend. Look, it's none of my business. But you know, Mr. and Mrs. Average, clean living man and wife they use? Yeah? I'll give you a big, fat clue. It ain't Mr. and Mrs. Abraham Lincoln. No. Well, who is it? It happens... Sam! Just the fellow we've been waiting for. Sam, come in, come in, come in, come in. There's somebody here just dying to see you. Sam, look who's here. No, sir, you had the courage to stand up on your two feet and say no to me, to say that my idea was wrong. Well, sir, I'm here with my hat in hand to say that you were right. You struck the keynote of our organization. Clean, wholesome advertising. 
My hand is out to you, sir. Well, thank you. <laughs> I, I, actually, uh, yeah. I've been meaning to speak to both of you about uh, leaving. Leaving? What do you mean? Another leaving? agency? More money, Sam? Oh, no, no, it's nothing like that, sir. It's just I came into an unexpected windfall, an inheritance, and I was thinking of retiring. <gasps> retiring? You can't retire. You're my man. You're my account executive. <laughs> speak to him, Bert. Sam, 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 you must be joshing. You can <laughs> no <laughs> more quit the excitement of this business than you can quit breathing. Yes, yes it's okay. exciting, all right, but you see, I have all this money. Money? Now, sir. What I'm is a... money, Sam? Come right over yes. here. Look, look that. out that. Look at that billboard, huh? Isn't oh. that magnificent? Yeah. Any yeah. amount of money, Sam, in this world to take the place of you saying, I did that? It's ridiculous. I, 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 Sam Bissell, created that beautiful, yes. glorious, wonderful, wholesome right. billboard? It's a thrill seeing it up there and all, but on the other hand, you take a million dollars, that's an awful lot of... There. Oh, what's the matter? Is it in the wrong spot? Oh, no! Well, that's our space, Sam. We got 12 of them all at once. You're just gonna ruin everything, Mr. Burke. That's got to come down. They've all got to come down. Sam? Hi there. I'm sorry, I can't talk to you now. Oh, wait a minute, friend. This is important. Look, I'm sorry, I can't talk to you now. I'm, I'm, I'm in a hurry. Sam, Bishop, 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 What's the matter with him? Did I, did I do anything to offend him? Running away will not help your particular situation. Come back. Hey, stop! I can't stop walking around! Roll it, Jim. One, two, one, two. By the hour, by the day, by the week, or any way, just let her put you in the driver's seat. Man, that's real coffee. No! Oh, no. Cut it! Listen, you better take time to talk to me, Mr. Evitz, if you know it's good for you. Mr. Evitz? You don't know me, but I can assure you I know you, Mr. Sneaky between the houses. <laughs> Reinhold Schiffner, private investigator. Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know what you want, but I'm in a big Scandal hurry. Scandal is I not can't... a very pretty word, sir. I've been watching you off and on since Tuesday night, you know. My goodness. Such goings on. <gasps> How do you do? Hold it! Hold it! You can't run away from fraud and deceit, young man! Are you away? Uh, fraud and deceit? This will just take a minute. Reinhold Schiffner. Yeah, I know you already gave me a card there. Schiff, private investigator. Most people think we still wear derbies and chew toothpicks. Not true. I'm Harvard, 44. Science major with a good, solid foundation in business administration and law. That's very interesting. I also majored in theatrical arts. That accounts for the little touch of showmanship in my, my trucks. You've seen my vacuum cleaning outfit, haven't you? I have a cherry picker truck and a tank truck. The tank truck's for big jobs, three men. We can stay out for a full month without returning to home base. Gee, how about that? <laughs> yes. Well, look, let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? I was hired by Mrs. Ebbett's cousins, Jack and Irene. I started watching your place Tuesday night. I saw you sneaking between the houses, you naughty, naughty boy, you. You, you saw me? <laughs> <laughs> but I nailed you good with my infrared night camera. <laughs> Here, take a look at these beauties. Oh, that one, that one, award-winning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you got me. Yes, indeedy, I got you. As obvious as could be. These photos are final and conclusive proof to any skilled investigator that you really are Mr. Howard Evans. Ah, oh, it's the same old story. The wandering husband, bored with his brunette wife, sneaks over to pay a little visit to the hot-looking blonde cookie next door. Ooh, you've probably been doing it for months. Yeah, I've been sneaking over. With... <laughs> but you didn't sneak out the last few nights. And you know why. Yeah, why? Bissell was home, back from a business trip, I figured. 
What am I supposed to do now? Well, I'd like to have a nice private conversation with you, and I think the best place to do that would be in your car. Come on, get right in there. The car is a marvelous place to conduct private business. Hard to, to bug, and you can't focus the electronic stuff on them while they're moving. <laughs> uh, if you don't mind, I live out on 29th and Gary. Well, the pictures are for sale, Mr. Ebbets. Say, 500 bucks. After all, you wouldn't be sneaking around if you didn't want it kept quiet. I'll meet you tomorrow night down in the lobby again. I guess they'd be worth a lot more than that if I wasn't Howard Ebbets. <laughs> right. They'd be worth millions to her cousins and a big fat bonus for me. What did you do that for? Why, oh, I kind of like to whip them around the curves every now and then. You know, it gets the old adrenaline going. It's good for you. to work every day? Sure do. Well, somebody up there must be absolutely crazy about you. <laughs> Bye. Nutty private investigator. I don't know where they got him, but there's billboards all over town. Me and what are you Janet. Be there's no time to lose. Come on, dear. Sam? Hurry up. Sam, what, what are you talking about? Oh, just a minute, I've lost my Come shoe. on, dear, I'll explain later. We gotta get Janet. Sam. You know, now that this is over and you're gonna get the money, I well, I think you're right. We should stay separated. Yeah, you'd never believe that I love you and want you only for yourself. Let's just say goodbye quietly. And uh I wish you the world of happiness and goodbye. Why don't we really discuss? Barging in like that, Bissell. This is very important. Yes. Yeah, look, look, look. All the paint you got. You got hey. any paint cans, spray cans, hey. paint brushes, anything you've got. Get all the clothes on. I'll be over in the garage Dad. getting all our stuff. Hurry up. What's up? Uh, me? What's he what talking about? Me? I don't get it at all. Something about a billboard and an investigator. 
Just again. Jan! Jan, don't come back here. Don't get tangled with that nut again. Jan, look, let's go back. Can you explain to me what it is? Because I don't... I don't know how. I don't understand. No. What happened? You know those crazy billboards that I dreamed up for Nerdlinger? Well, I don't know where they got pictures of you and me, but I haven't got time to explain what? now. What? We've got to deface them by morning. Deface them? Are you, you're out of your mind. Well, don't you understand? They think that we're married, Janet and me. Our pictures up on billboards all over town. It's astounding. Big letters, ten feet high. Mr. and Mrs. Sam Bissell, blah, 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 Nerdlinger's oh. things and so forth. Now the cousin and the detective see him, and there we are. We're through. My inheritance! That's what I mean. Now get going. Put these yeah. things are right there. Crystal, what are you planning to do? We are going to paint out the faces. No! Yes! Sam! This is your insane! Janet! Janet, you can't go around damaging private property. They'll throw you in jail. And what, what happens with my inheritance? Forget it. We don't need the money. Oh, you are running true to form. If things can't happen like you wanted, you just don't want to help. Oh, boy, you're, you're all crazy. In the middle of the night. Man, you got to change. You can't go like that. Here, put these on. No. Honey, this is no time to argue. No, Sam, this has gone far enough. You quit your job and you've ruined our home life and it's too much. It's just more than I can stand. Look, dear, will you please just this, this one more thing. Think of the million dollars. I want my home and my children and my husband and a little peace and quiet. Look, you stay here. I've got to go. I'm a man without a job. I want that million dollars. Sam. What? If you go, I won't be here when you come back. Man, you don't mean that and you know it. I've got to go. Sam. Are you going to come or not? Hurry up! I don't believe it. Dreadful photograph of me, but I, I don't have a face thin like that. This is no time to start admiring yourself. Get going. Underpaid school teachers, and I have to moonlight to feed my wife and children. Hello, good morning. She's a school teacher? <laughs> uh, uh, girls' hygiene. God bless you for the wonderful work you're doing. <laughs> You've been through. 
for sure I'm the one that's wrong. Just because I won't go along with this harebrained childish scheme of nutsy over there, I'm the one that's wrong. Boy, that's been the history of our marriage. Married? We are not married. Once again, you demonstrate your truly remarkable ability to phrase things in such a twisted and distorted way as to make me look as if I'm doing something ridiculous. Oh, disfiguring billboards all over town in the middle of the night. Perfectly normal. Just don't come crying to me for help when you get caught. We didn't ask you along. Why don't you leave? I just may. Then go. Why are you hanging around? All right, you silly... Goodbye. And this time, forever. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now, how do we get up there? Huh? I'm gonna rent a room. I'm gonna get across on that roof by the fire escape. You wait here for me. No! We started everything together. We're going to finish not it together, Not in Sam. this neighborhood, Janet. Please. Not in that kind of hotel. Please. Just stay here and wait no, for me. No, please! Room, please, on the uh, west side. You got a reservation? Well, no, I don't have a reservation. Sorry, I'm yeah. full up. Well, look, I'm I'm uh, uh, I'm a traveling salesman. Thank you, Frankie, baby. Everything okay, Sherry? Yeah, talk to you later. I, I uh, uh, deal in paints, and my car broke down just around the corner. They're fixing it up, so I'll only need the room for about, oh, an hour, two hours. Why didn't you say what you want in the first place? Who sent you, Charlie? Charlie sent me. <laughs> I do, I... 20 bucks. Uh, 20? 20 bucks, buddy. Fourth floor, room 434. Use that elevator over there. have the wrong room, ma'am. Uh, I'm sorry, forgive the way I look. No. But if you... No, uh, no, no, not with me, buddy. What, no what? Uh, what you... I mean, no, damn it. I thought I've seen everything, but but this is a new one on me. You, you lay a paintbrush on me, I'm gonna scream this joint down. No, you don't let... Shh. You're a psychiatric case. That's what you are. Let's see. Well, please. Oh, boy, you keep away from me. I'm gonna tell Frankie. He'll think... No, you're... don't tell <laughs> Stop screaming, lady, please! 
sex I never saw. I'll teach you to go around lacquering up broads. Just stop a minute. Take your hands off immediately. Stop it. Does this crumb belong to you, lady? Yes, he's my husband. Well, you better keep him locked up at home because he wanted to paint me. You no, don't. Don't be ridiculous. This man is Mr. Samuel Bissell, one of the great, truly artists of the world. He came in and checked into your hotel to get away from the hustle and bustle of the world to do some serious painting. No kidding. You mean he's famous? Yes, so. Bissell, I think I heard of him. Or was it the carpet sweeper? If you don't mind. Uh, uh, right this way. Golly, I'm, I'm sorry. I wouldn't have... You. Well, I'll stay here for a while. Huh? I've got some unfinished business. Oh. Good luck. Bye. been away and I, I I I didn't like it. I loved it. I never had a better time in my You're life. You're lying. You missed me as much as I missed you. Which happens to be not at all. Oh, boy. Okay, okay, I tried. Lord knows I tried, but I've had it. This time I've had it for good. Goodbye. 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 Howard, I just want you to know that I know why you say you want me back. Really? Yes, because of my $15 million. That's why. What? Wait, wait, wait a minute. What? You heard me. You want me because of my money. I want you because of your money? Yes. How dare you? How dare you say a thing like that? How dare you talk to me in that tone of voice? Just get out of here. That's oh, all. Oh, don't you worry. I'm getting out. But not before I give you something you've had coming to you for a long time. A good, swift kick in the hind end. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. <laughs> Oh, now you're like going that. to get it, Howard Abbott. Am I going to bait you? Uh, no, 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 Mr. Head of the block, I went to the left. Head of the block, I went to the left. Go ahead. Would you mind not? Oh, oh you did it. Oh. You did it again. Oh, my God, I'm so it. My whole so... arm's paralyzed. I'm so sorry. Did it, does it hurt? Can you move your hand? Yes, it does hurt. Does that make you feel better? Yeah. Yes, it does. Hey, Goofy. <laughs> Uh, would, would, would you mind, sir? This happens to be a private argument. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I'm re I am. I'm really sorry. Hey, Goofy. I love you. You know, it's taken me all these months to realize how much. What do you say we try it again, huh? Didn't know where to go. 